guys, it's Karma, and I'm back with another video, and we are in some more One Piece Legendary, and, um, today I'm showing you guys how to play this game, you know, like a beginner's guide, kinda, because, uh, there are some people that are confused how to play this game, so I'm here to help, alright? So, we got a lot of things to cover, so we got, first, you guys probably want to customize, I don't know, you guys can customize whatever you want, this costs Robux and crap, so I don't want to mess with that. Um, so yeah, the first button is customized, alright. Next button is shop. We'll discuss that later. Stats. Uh, I guess we could go over stats. Uh, just wait. Uh, so this is your stats. It tells your stats for each category, I guess. Um, melee, sniper, sword, defense. And then the total level is basically all of this added up and just plopped right there. And then your username. And then your money, your bounty, and your kills. Uh, kills is uh, NPCs and people, I'm pretty sure. And then talents, which is basically your inventory of weapons. Uh, settings is this stuff and resetting stats. So, let's get started. First things first, alright. You're gonna start out with a thing called melee, right? You're gonna have it in your inventory and you're gonna wanna click it and your stat for melee is gonna go up. You can hit the air and you're gonna get stats or you can hit NPCs and get more XP than hitting the air. So hitting things uh, give you more XP. So yeah, I suggest you guys can hit things. And there are NPCs around the desert island uh, that you should train on. There's a crab that's level one, so train on that first. Um, and then move your way up to other NPCs on the island. There's, island. There's one right there, one right there, three right there that you do not want to mess with actually. Some more over there, and yeah. So, um, that's that. So leveling up melee, you know, gives you more damage for your melee. And then, um, as you get your melee up, you get more melee abilities. Table kick, I think you unlock at 50 melee. And then black leg at 100 melee. I don't know, I forgot. Bro, who's this guy? Or girl, or whatever. Alright. But, um, yeah, that's melee. Uh, melee is very important. Uh, let's go down here to specials. These all require melee. Uh, 50 melee for dash, which is this. You just go bam. That's a dash. And then next is special, which is shave. Alright. Shave is like teleporting. And the more melee you have, the longer your shave can go so you can so maybe you start out like that right like tiny little things tiny little like teleports or whatever and then maybe you, if you get higher melee you can teleport pretty big ow so that's that all right next thing is uh hockey all right hockey is what that guy was just attacking you with it's uh basically buso right it makes your hands and legs go purplish blackish. I don't know, makes it just go harder and like punch harder and would do more damage. And it also helps attack melee. Uh, it uses. M no, wait. It helps kill Logias for Delphrys, basically. So, um, if you guys don't know what Logias are, you guys should search it up. Uh, Logias One Piece. But yeah, basically, it, this helps you give the ability to kill and attack Logias. Um, next thing we got is observation, which is handy to finding people. It basically gives a highlight to people's body, so it also does it to NPCs. As you can see, his body is highlighted, and you can see it through walls. See, that's the body right there. See, that's Freddy right there. This is Buddy. And basically, you could do that with every, um, every NPC. Alright. Uh, that's all of special. Next, we can go to Sniper and Swords. Um, both of these, right, your inventory, like I said, uh, you have to buy. Which, to get money, or belly, or berry, is to kill NPCs. So, killing them gives you to 100 to 300 random amounts. Say, uh, just saying, and basically to buy them, uh, there are shops around the map. There is the sniper shop behind this one that sells the Kir Kirizuma. 
Uh, I don't even know. Whatever it is called. But this is where the Chris Chrisma sells, and then that's behind it is where the snow kind of place is where all the snipers are sold. And then there's also swords sold there. It sells dagger, this, that, that over there. And then flail is sold uh, over there. But yeah, basically that's um, that. Uh, let's see. Now with double fruits. The other topic, I guess. Double fruits to get them um, is a thing called a quest. And this quest is called Sam, right? It's called Sam. Alright, we're just gonna Sam. And basically, what you do is estimation point Sam and it tells you how long you need to get the quest. Okay, alright, you see this diaper crew? Oh my gosh, alright, never mind, you won't understand. Uh, alright, but basically, Sam uh, lives over here. He lives at the bar, alright, the bar, you guys gotta remember that. We call this the Sam Island, alright, Sam Island. And basically, uh, this is where Sam is, and when Sam's quest is ready, you guys wanna come here, alright, and talk to Sam. When you talk to Sam, it'll say, accept quest. Once you click accept quest, it will give you a compass. Okay, so basically, it'll give you a compass, like I said, um, that is pretty tiny, really tiny. And it has a red part to it, and it has a white part to it. You want to follow the red part, and that red part will lead to a tree. It turns and twists, uh, so basically, I don't have one right now, right? And, oh wait, actually, do I have one? Actually, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna cut time out. I'm gonna cut it and see, show you guys what I mean, because it's way better if I show you guys. Okay. Alright. I forgot to uh, mention one thing, so, uh, this is con not a really important part, but, like, it's, it's a cool thing. Um, when you, if you press alt, you get these, I mean, hold alt, you get these, uh, emotes, not emotes, or, I don't know what you call them, but, basically, they're, like, things, they're positions, I guess, I don't know. So, T-pose, right, get that T-pose, dabbing, right, praising, right, push-ups, right, admire, right, relax, right, jittery. Right and thinking that's all of the emotes basically that you can do. So yeah, that's one part of the game. Alright, here we go. We're about to get it. Four, three, two, one. And as you guys can see, Sam has a quest for you. That's what it'll say. And we click accept quest. We get a compass, right? As you guys can see, it's tiny. And you want to click and hold, and um, it will pop up. If you don't click and hold, just click. Like I'm clicking when I hear that click just disappear so you want to click in a hole so it's pointing to a tree um i don't know so you're gonna have to follow the red part say you're looking that way remember follow the red part face the red part and just go to there just want to go there all right um hopefully this one is actually pretty close i don't want this to be too far away hopefully Alright, we just want to follow the red part. Just follow it. And while uh, I'm just going to follow this red part, uh, I'm going to talk about Del Fruit rarities. Alright, so Del Fruits have rarities. It, there is three rarities. It's common, uncommon, and uh, rare. And basically, uh, the rarities are... Be, uh, so like the percentage, I mean... It is, um, so for common, it's 80%, for an uncommon, it's 15%, and the rest, which is 5%, is rare. So, rares are Logias and Opie, um, actually Dark isn't even Logia on this game, which is pretty whack, uh, not gonna lie, um, is this, is this the tree? Please be the tree. No, okay, it's at that place, which that place is the boss, which you guys do not want to go to. Um, it is very dangerous, not gonna lie, but yeah, that's the boss. Anyways, 
what was the time about? Oh yeah, uh, rarities and crap. Uh, so yeah, basically you'll mostly get commons. Not gonna lie, uh, if you get common, I suggest you just throw it away, like I did. Uh, uncommons, that's where it gets a little tough. Like some uncommons are pretty dope. Um, and then legendaries, like everybody wants those, you know. But anyways, um, so yeah, you just want to keep following it, alright? Just keep following it. And let's see what else we can talk about. Uh, oh yeah, adult fruit. So when you get adult fruit, it'll have requirements that you need. So maybe it'll be like 200 melee, or maybe 100 sniper, or maybe 100 sword, right? So it will have some uh, certain stat that you need. So maybe 100 defense, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's different. Okay, so what else do we have to talk about? Mm. Oh yeah, alright, alright, let's talk about this. Now that we're on Del Fruit. So when you ever eat a Del Fruit and maybe you eat a common Del Fruit. You don't want to do that by the way. And you might accidentally, you guys will have to pay to remove it. And it costs a hefty 100 Robux to um, remove it. So do not eat a trash doll fruit um if you do eat a trash doll fruit and do not have any way of getting robux or have any you're gonna have to do the reset stat and basically they'll reset your doll fruit but also reset all your stats so i recommend not resetting your stats all right yeah got it good so you guys do want to be careful me I have accidentally eaten a common, had to spend a hefty 100 Robux, not gonna lie, I was kinda salty about eating that. Um, I didn't even mean to though, like, not even mine, didn't even mean to eat it. Alright, so here we are at the island, we gotta come to the opening. See, as you guys can see, it changed right where, like, looking backwards, it's pointing backwards, so I go like, bam, and it changes. So that's, uh, that. All right, here we go. This is the boss, as you guys can see. It is the bubble isn't the boss. All right, chill out. Uh, it's the thing in the bubble. And when you are here, if you are here, you guys don't want to touch this part. I'll show you guys what uh, it will do if you touch it. All right. So let's um, find this. So it's pointing over here. You guys can touch this bubble. This is safe. This is like the shield that protects you. And from the boss. Where? Alright. It's forward. Alright, I think it's this tree. No, it's not. Where the heck is this tree then? Is it this tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So basically, when you find the tree or think it's the tree, you guys want to make sure by circling it. Oh, you see, I just got it. I, I went close to it and held. So you guys want to circle it and make sure the red is also circling it. Um, But after that works, as you guys can see, you can click and hold and just circle around the tree with your uh, compass and eventually you will get your fruit. So, I got the clone fruit, which is a common. So, you know, I'll just throw it away. I'm gonna back it in here. Oh, oh, what the heck? I got it back. Okay. Anyways, let's show you. I'm gonna show you guys what this does, I guess, when you touch it. I'm actually gonna put it down. Oh, nothing happened. That's good. But when I touch it, turns red. Everything's turned red. That actually was kind of creepy. That gave me the goosebumps. Oh, shoot. Alright. It will unleash the boss. And the boss is very fast, as you guys can see. But luckily, it's like tripping and crap. Just like that. But yeah, I can see it. You guys see the observation hockey? But yeah, that's Del Fruits for you guys. So if you guys did enjoy this video or if it helped you at all, kind of boring, so maybe if this helped you, um, please give a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and um, I'm going to see you guys in another video. Peace.